Okay. It's almost there. I well, we found some uh, weird about these windows. So it seems not so right. So we have to fix this problem. Just double click and uh, pick this window. It seems the window has been upside down and uh, inside out. So we right click. If we flip along, so we can pick three different axes. I think it's the blue one, so we pick the blue one. Oh, it's not enough. The seal is on top, so I going to flip it along the green. Okay, now then it's right. Okay, then we can do all of them. Before we go back to the mast file. I think we still have to finish the balustrade. Otherwise, if somebody falls from the top terrace, someone is going to charge. It's going to sue us. So, the same person using the offset tool. No. So we have to create a line. Because it's outside the component. Okay, so create a line. <coughs> so we do an offset. Simple offset of 100. Okay. Then what we are going to do? We're going to delete. We're going to do another offset to 100. Okay. Then we're going to extrude this one. 1000 no sorry 1000 not 100 okay then triple click select all of them give them a transparent color glass feeling and then delete the internal ones okay I think that's close enough okay then group this one we also need to delete. So we group this one as one group. And then we copy. Sorry, have to press control. And then we copy to here. Okay. Then we double click get in. Go to the top view. Okay, open the translucent view and uh, we'd like to turn off perspective so it's become a plan view. So we can select this. Okay, so we for some travel. Press shift so it's only travel along the red axis and then click. And then we go back. Turn off the transparent, go back, click outside, okay. So you can see we have balance now. I think um, this building almost done. Now what we need to do, we just go back to the <coughs> master file and we try to reload this one and put it into the right place. Now we, we are back in the terrain file, the, the master file we created before. So you can see the transpose proposed one is still the same as before we have to reload it so we click propose the building we open it again and it's coming so there's some problem with the roof because it's was put the wrong color okay so we go we give, give it a default color Okay, so these lines looks 
too sick. We turn off edge lines. Yeah, edge style profile. Oh, we still need profiles. And I think we have to update uh, the style. This is a new function called style in, uh, in SketchUp 6, where you have a couple of different styles you can pick up from. Assorted styles. We have a watercolor style, which looks a little bit <coughs> rough from here. These lines look too thick. But it's very interesting experience. So we'd like to uh, sketch the edges, straight lines. I think for this one is okay. Yes, uh, I'd like to use these settings material which could be should be good enough for the moment okay let's see everything together whether it works or not whether it works or not uh, okay as we can see the building is currently submerged into ground we have to move it to the right location Let's. It's not so difficult here. We just need to click move. Go up. Pay attention to. To the axis. So it's if it's on blue axis, it means it's good. I think we roughly need to move up two and a half levels, which is a uh, 7.5 meter. 7500 okay that's it roughly done so we have uh, our building lovely sits within the contacts 